Okay, Google. What was the official release date of NASCAR Thunder 2003? NASCAR Thunder 2003's initial release date is September 19th, 2002. God, I love my phone. Dale, you fucker! You motherfucker! God damn it! <laughs> Dale Reynolds Gaming, racing excellence. Chariots with four horses. Try 700. NASCAR Thunder 2003. Rated E for everyone. EA Sports. It's in the game. We finally are doing it without a hitch, baby! Oh my god, we're finally fucking here! Ugh, yes! <laughs> Energy! I love it! Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. My name is Dale Reynolds. You guys are fucking awesome. Yes! <laughs> the absolute enthusiasm. That's right. Oh, NASCAR Thunder 2003. We are finally here and thank you everybody irishman sparky kyle larson owns you arkham knight arkham knight correct with the release date the trivia question full points for you arkham knight brandon mccomb what if senpai thank you senpai thank you for joining me on that intro thank you dario kawiki you guys are awesome i hate kyle larson owns you tomorrow is your birthday Happy freaking birthday, baby. Finally, no problems. Let's do this. All right. Yes. All right, ladies and gentlemen. Going to keep the stream a little bit shorter tonight. Just a little bit. Probably like an hour and a half or so because I do have to be awake at 6 o'clock tomorrow morning. But the things I do for you people, the promises I make to give you guys a damn live stream since I couldn't do it last night. Uh. Guys are awesome. Thank you. I love you guys. Yes. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen. NASCAR Thunder 2003, Rail Fan Mike, Kyle Larson owns you, RJ the California Kid, what is up? RJ the California Kid, how you doing on this Friday night? What's up, baby, bro? My birthday's Monday. Irishman, happy birthday to you too. Happy birthday. I'm just going to sign this off. Happy birthday to everybody who, it might be your birthday. I don't care if your birthday is nine months out of here. Happy damn birthday. Don't say I never said I wish you anything. <laughs> Got a great PS4 game you should play, bruh. Okay, awesome. Thank you, ladies and gentlemen. We start our career mode, NASCAR Thunder 2003. As the driver of the number 83, Mike Oxbeg. 
That's right. You heard that right. Ladies and gentlemen, Mike Oxbig will be a household name. <laughs> I am good, RJ. Thank you very much for tuning into the stream. You are a new face. Both me and Arkham were both right, but he got it before I did. So, yeah, congrats, Arkham. Brandon McComb, congrats to you, too, sir. Thank you. All right, ladies and gentlemen, we're kicking this off. Complete this quote, friends, Austin316. RJ, the California kid, you are awesome. Thank you for joining in on the madness. You are awesome. Happy Stone Cold Day. Happy Stone Cold Day, baby. Give me a hell yeah. <laughs> All right. We're going to kick this off. Like I said, about an hour and a half or so tonight here, giving you guys a little bit of something, something here for NASCAR Thunder 2003. Highly anticipated. And we begin the career tonight. Tonight. That's right. Uh, settings. Let me do the settings here real quick just to prove it to all you guys. There we are. It's on custom. Speed, legend difficulty. I've got the wreck frequency turned up because who the fuck doesn't like crashes? Aggressiveness, defensiveness, pitch strategy, and the mistakes. Why? Because fuck it. Why not? <laughs> it's called tabletop racing. My aunt's birthday is today too. Just went out to dinner with her along with my dad, my sister. I had that fanfare in my head too. All right. Yes, we are playing this on the PC with the Dolphin emulator. I did not have to steal this game illegally. I have the copy of this game for the GameCube, and it works in my PC. So that's what we're playing it off of, the GameCube version of this game. Legend difficulty, no assists, fixed setups, but with piss, fixed setups with pit adjustments. <laughs> la, 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 la. Oh, no one completed the quote. <laughs> Kyle Larson is turning 18. Welcome to adulthood, sir. <laughs> Welcome to adulthood. All right, leaderboard. I'm going to turn that on. Info display track, far chase. Widescreen is on. JC1424, you yell at me all the time for not running this thing in widescreen. So, this is for you. <laughs> you see that all the assists are off. The passing indicators are on. So, whatever. You know, whatever. <laughs> and then we're going to turn on the sound effects. There we go. Now the sound effects are on. Let me just adjust a few things here. Again, welcome everybody. Welcome everybody. I just want to make sure that the sound is not super insanely loud. I think I'm gonna roll with. I think I'm gonna roll with that for now. Let me know if it's a little too soft, a little too loud, whatever. Am I gonna watch the Xfinity race tomorrow if I have time? I should have time. I'm gonna watch Ryan Sieg with Joseph Lombard's car out there. That's gonna be awesome. So, ladies and gentlemen. Here's my driver's stats. Okay. Like I said, completely different scenario. Mike Oxbig. That's the name of our driver. Mike Oxbig. You heard that right. He is from Frog Balls, Arkansas. It's a random birth date, July 13th, 1983. And he drives for 40th place racing. That's right, baby. This race didn't even start yet. I hope Joey Logano wins. Got the IndyCar Series 2003. Do you see Harvick winning four in a row this weekend? No, I do not see Harvick winning four in a row this weekend. Rail fan Mike, look at them empty stats. I know, I got to fill them, what if? I got to fill them. You got to give me a chance, man. I know, I've been slacking. I've been slacking. I'm trying to get this game up off the damn ground. 60 frames, that's right. 60 frames because the Dolphin emulator, far better of an emulator than the PCSX2, which is the PS2 emulator. Yeah, so here we go, ladies and gentlemen, Mike Oxbig. He is gonna be a household name, I guarantee it. Going to race. The Daytona 500 finally kicking off the career mode playthrough of NASCAR Thunder 2003. I thank you. I thank you for joining me in this playthrough. It's gonna be great. Computer is running nice and cool, like I said fixed setups but we're going to start off instead of starting with fixed adjustments and then waiting until pit stops to make adjustments we're going to just start right off the bat with the pit adjustments i would make so here we are we're going to change the tire pressure and i'm not changing anything with wedge i don't want to change anything with wedge so it's just a tire pressure adjustment that's all it is fixed setup ledge difficulty no assists Nice character. Can I do a suggestion for the next career mode? Absolutely, Brandon McComb. Does someone say crap? I mean stats. <laughs> Kyle Larson is gonna win. For thank, thank you, what if, for showing up to the very first initial one of the NASCAR Thunder 2003. Hand it over from Dario Kowicki. We're going from Dario Kowicki to Mike Oxbane. 
<laughs> Kyle Larson is gonna win. Yeah, that's right, Kyle Larson. Kyle Larson go win. Kyle Larson, baby. All right, so the fix setup is in. Gonna hit, get ready to qualify and officially launch my Coxbeg's career. <laughs> that's funny. And look at the beautiful upscaled resolutions and 60 frames and just overall gorgeousness of this game. Oh, it's beautiful. Mike Goxbig is going to qualify for his first Daytona 500. Mind you, it is 2002. 2002. RJ, the California kid. Eric Jones will win, RJ. I see him being a champ in five years. I can agree with that. Eric Jones is a very talented young man. <laughs> Who's your favorite driver? Mike Oxbig. <laughs> no, it isn't. <laughs> I love it. Hope you guys like the overlay. The return of the overlay for this playthrough. Like NASCAR 2005, we could not do that because I was actually using the Elgato to capture everything. Now we're running right on the PC. We are running right on the PC. Everything's good. Except dad, who knows a guy, who knows a guy, who knows a guy, who knows a guy. His brother said in EA Sports said they're going remaster Jarrett Labonte stock car racing. But that's not even EA Sports, bro. That's Codemasters. <laughs> even, even in a fake democracy, that's a lie. <laughs> and for those who are Leaf fans, they're in the playoffs again. Well, congratulations to the Leafs on making the playoffs. RJ, the California kid, my videos are gold. Well, thank you, sir. Much, much appreciated. I have heard already that Lowe's will not sponsor Jimmy Johnson after this season. And no matter what anybody else tells you, don't let anybody convince you otherwise. That paints a dark picture in the state of NASCAR as it is. When the most successful, the most successful active driver on the roster right now with seven championships and 80 plus career wins, he loses his primary sponsorship. Nobody's safe. Nobody's safe. Not really that surprised. Lowe's has been losing ground in sales lately. Yeah, Lowe's, honestly, though, yeah. Yeah, you know what I mean. You guys get what I mean. It, you, you pick up what I'm putting down, right? That's right. <laughs> anyway, so we now have officially established a record. Mike Coxbig has laid down a, a record lap, apparently. Dale, yeah, if you have a if you want watching the Bruins, check out their stats. I will have to. Jimmy Johnson actually had Exeteran as a sponsor. RJ, you are correct in the Bush series. That is very true. How is the audio? Hope everybody's hope the audio is good on everybody's part. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Mike Oxbang. <laughs> oh, this is gonna be awesome. Mike Oxbang's first Gatorade 125. So here are the rules for the Gatorade 125s. For those of you who do not understand, pretty straightforward. The Gatorade 125s determine the starting position for the Daytona 500. The first race will determine the inside row, and the second race determines the outside row. The front row for the Daytona 500 is based off of qualifying time alone, not the 125s. If you didn't know that, well, you should, since what if did it? <laughs> you should. Speaking of which, I went skating yesterday. Very nice. Maybe Home Depot. Hell, even Walmart can step in. I don't want no Walmart. I'd rather have Amazon step in. A bridge collapsed in Miami. What up, Dew Storm? I no, I heard about that bridge Here's collapsing. Here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Starting out front. Mike Hawksbig. His first his first Gatorade duel. God, that's gonna be awesome. They all check up in front of me. Holy crap. Real fan Mike is asking, who do I think will be Jimmy's sponsor? I have no idea at this point. I'm a huge Amazon fan, though. I would love to see Amazon take over sponsorship and join NASCAR. If I you, my brother went to law school there. Damn. So here we are. Again, legend difficulty, no assists, fix setups with pit adjustments, and, uh, yeah. Also on a note, Stephen Hawking passed away. Unfortunately, yes, I heard about that, and what a shame. Rest in peace to Stephen Hawking. We're passing cars here very, very surprisingly. I just want to stay in the draft here. I got five laps. Yeah. And we're catching cars, man. Look at Shauna Robinson up here holding the freaking station. Kind of holding everybody up here. I want to pass cars, man. I want to pass some cars. I want to start better.
Come on, Shauna Robinson. Let's do this. Let's do this. <laughs> Shauna Robinson? All right, let's do this. Leroy Jenkins. No, I'm just kidding. <laughs> there we go. Up to 11. And we still got some cars that are up here holding up fast guys like Dale Earnhardt Jr. Oh, oh, oh. Okay, I guess that's where the mistakes come in. <laughs> Holy shit, I just, like, raped Jeff Burton. <laughs> My cock's big. Just so this, you know what, up Jeff Burton's ass. <laughs> oh, man, Brody, what's up, man? Moving up. <laughs> Wait, where's what is favorite driver, Amy Hicks? Like I said, this career mode is going to be a completely different playthrough than what NASCAR 2005 was going to be. This one is going to be full of hilarity. Just the driver's name alone should just give it away how much hilarity this is going to be. But look at how we're actually, we started, what, 17th? We're now up to the top 10. RJ the California Kid, gotta go. RJ the California Kid, thank you very much for tuning in, man. Much appreciated. You are a new face. Please feel free to join back at any time. Awesome, awesome, awesome. Look at that, up to 7th. We got the old uh, Jimmy Spencer, I'll never forget. Well, fucking, yeah, remember this. Remember the rookie is side drafting you. Uh, 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 uh. Look at that, uh, up to 7th. Boom, boom, boom. <laughs> I bracket as well as two. You had one job, Miami. One time I wanted you to win. <laughs> Look at us, up to 7th. We gained 10 spots in the duel here. Uh, uh, uh. <laughs> You might have the chance if you have a good start. You might win the 500 on my first try. I very well might. Who the hell is this behind me? I have no idea who that is behind me. Is that Shane Hall? I think it is. In that 63? Might be Shane Hall. Whatever, at least my Gators won. There you go. White flag, we'll have to go. Look at how much of a lead that these leaders got on us on this legend difficulty thing. <laughs> I don't know. I'm going to get a good start here. I'm going to start, like, if I finish here in 7th, I could probably finish, like, I'll be starting, like, 14th in the 500 or something like that. I mean, we're going to have a top 15 start. I don't even know who it was that blew an engine in front of me that stacked Jeff Burton up and Mike Coxpig just ran into the back of Jeff Burton. But, uh, yeah, we're going to have a dare sales a decent start here at Daytona. <laughs> Who the fuck are you? <laughs> my bracket got my cocks picked. <laughs> my cocks picked. Your bracket got my cocks picked. <laughs> I feel like every time I'm gonna put a block on somebody like this right here, I'm gonna sit there and be like, "You just got my cocks blocked." <laughs> Look at how torn up my Monte Carlo is. Oh my god. Tony Stewart takes the Gatorade 125 with Ricky Roy, Terry Labonte, Jeff Gordon, and Dale Earnhardt Jr. in the top five. Maybe just fuel race. only for your that stop. Possibly. And I'm thinking that, Irishman. 14th start. That's good. That is a good start for rookie uh, Mike Oxbeg. <laughs> Again, behind some nobody named Greg Biffle. <laughs> Tony Stewart wins the Gatorade duel. I love this. Thank you all for tuning in here. Playing NHL 16 while watching this. Ladies and gentlemen, I know somebody, I think it was Arkham, somebody had said, let's play this together. I encourage you. I'm going to pull a Bob Ross here, right? Of course, we encourage you. If you want to play NASCAR 30 2003, ride, ride alongside with me. We encourage you to do that. Absolutely. We encourage you to play NASCAR Thunder 2003 right along with me. Join me as we create some excellent podcasts. <laughs> <laughs> Playing IndyCar Series 2003, Big Blue. Hurricanes will make it to the playoffs, but they could make it. At least my Gators won our game, but then again, we were playing in nobody's school. I don't know. I don't know too much basketball. I really don't. So, I don't know basketball. 21-21 halftime, number one, Virginia, number 16, UMBC. All right, ladies and gentlemen, it is showtime. The Gatorade, or excuse me, the Daytona 500 here. My gosh, Well, here we are at the Great American Race, the Daytona 500, the NASCAR Winston Cup Series premier event. 
This is Joe Moore, and I'm with Barney Hall to bring you live Flag the Flag coverage on MRN. With a history and prestige here at this track, the teams seem to be all pushing themselves just a little harder this week. Well, you're right. To have your name mentioned as a former winner here at Daytona puts you on a list with some drivers that these guys have admired since they were kids. Michael Waltrip won the 2001 Daytona 500, his first career win in his 463rd start. He was pushed to the finish line by Dale Jr. in that race, and he repaid the favor later that year, helping Jr. win his first race at Daytona in the Pepsi 400. After finishing second twice to Dale Earnhardt Jr. for the Busch Series Championship, Kenseth beat him out for Rookie of the Year in 2000. And he did it without qualifying well. Despite only two top 10 starting spots, he posted a 14th place points finish and a win and 11 top 10s. Jerry Nadeau is one of those guys who you just keep expecting to break out and have a good year. Yeah, you do, but he's got a ton of talent and some good equipment. He's shown he can win and run up front. Now he's just got to string some success together and gain some confidence out there. The engines have been fired on a brand new playthrough, ladies and gentlemen. I thank you guys for coming out for the very first showing of Mike Oxbig <laughs> in NASCAR Thunder 2003. Everybody's talking about their bra the Browns going 0 16. Due time, everyone's bracket got busted. Do you think Jerry Nadeau would have been good? Yes. Just say late, but Phoenix proved why I love Kurt Busch. Woo, stage winners. Woo, we're 25th now. That sucks. Had to retire due to injury. I agree. All right, ladies and gentlemen, here we go. Racing, Daytona, Mike Hoxbig, NASCAR Thunder 2003, green flag is out, 20 laps here in the Daytona 500 with a good starting spot of 14th. Let's see what we can do here. And again, I thank you guys very much for tuning in and watching this. I got a strategy. Just draft as much as possible. <laughs> Seriously, just draft as much as possible. There goes Sterling Marlin. It's going to be impossible to hang with these fast guys like Harvick and Sterling Marlin. It's going to be almost impossible. Browns won't go 0 16. Are you sure about that? I miss the Pontiacs, dude. The Pontiacs were awesome. I agree. Draft and get a good finish. That's right. Is that Bill Elliott? That is Bill Elliott to the inside. Excuse me. Oh, cow. That was nice. <laughs> anyway. Holy cow. Ooh, got loose there. Got Newman. Hello, Newman. Steve Park could have been good, too. I agree. Steve Park, one of those, you know, modified drivers from my area. Mike Oxbig is going backwards. Why aren't you Mike Ox blocking people? I gotta... Hold on. Passing indicators... Oh, they've been turned off. Okay, that is why. That is why. My apologies, ladies and gentlemen. This game has that glitch, and you probably saw it right there. If you're in the corner and you pause the game, you unpause the game, and the car goes straight to the wall for like a split second. Scott Wimmer did show promise. I think I could hang with Biffle here. He won't, I don't think Biffle can run away from me. So I'm just going to draft with Biffle here, see what I can do. Riding around in 18th position. Scott Wimmer did show promise, unfortunately, but his career never panned out. Casey Atwood was another young, hot prospect. He never panned out. Reed Sorensen. With D Biff, aka the Bug Eye W. Computer still running nice and cool. I like that. Drafting with D Biff. And again, there's no grudges and alliances here, so there's no 
intentional blocking or excessive racing with these guys. It's just kind of racing against standardized computers, I guess, if you want to call it that. Come on, Biffle, go forward. What are you doing? Go forward, damn it. Stay to the bottom. Jason Leffler could have been good, too. Sucks we lost him. Yes, Jason Leffler was a good driver. He was a good driver. It's terrible. Rest in peace, Jason Leffler, that uh, he passed. I wish Scott Wimmer could have amounted to anything if Baldwin didn't turn to shit. Yeah, I agree. Mm -hmm. Almost kind of on the same thing with Tommy Baldwin. I kind of wish that Dave Blaney could have won that potentially shortened Daytona 500 from 2012. Remember when Juan Pablo hit the jet dryer and the track caught fire? Yeah. Old Dave Blaney, man. Bill, uh, oh, Bill Davis, I'm sorry. Bill Davis and, yeah, Bill Davis, yeah, I get them confused sometimes. Sorry, my apologies. JJ Haley only gotta be a bust in NASCAR and IndyCar. <laughs> Very true. Now remember, this is Ledger Difficulty. The only thing that's different is that we've got the accidents and the mistakes turned all the way up. So we'll probably end up having a caution from an AI driver, if it's not me, barring that I don't really mess up. <laughs> There was any Mike Skinner fans too. He drove the 31 Lowe's car. That's right. Just sitting here working with Greg Biffle. Kind of Mike Ox blocking people. <laughs> Crashes on this game sometimes are really crazy. Yes, they are. Uh uh, you're not going to separate me there, Biffle. I know that. What's his face is your teammate? <laughs> What's his face, Jeff Burton? The guy that Mike Oxbig just kind of stuck his dick in his ass in, a, in the duel. Mm. That was Indy Racing too. Uh, JJ busted in. That's how bad he was. Yeah. Mm -hmm. You're not kidding. I got a text message from the girlfriend. Hold on. Okay, that was a voice message. It was going to take a little while. I am sorry. Hello to my beautiful girlfriend, Chase Dunn. What is up, Chase Dunn? How you doing, man? Thanks for tuning into this stream. Playing NASCAR Heat 2 alone. Oh, that sucks. I kind of make contact with Jimmy Johnson there. Like I said, I love the interior cockpit sounds in this game. Why is Ian Siegel calling me? Why are you calling me? <laughs> Why are you calling me? AKA Dewstorm. Dewstorm88 is calling me. Always hated Yaley. Ever since he pulled that dumbass move with Charlotte in 06, yes, I could understand why you would hate him there, Irishman. That was a very dumb move. J.J. Yaley in drag racing, he still find a way to crash. Well, hey, John Force is the best drag racer, right? He's a big legend, and he crashes quite a bit, or blows up quite a bit. Good storm like to screw with me. You like to screw at me? You don't call me at any other time except when I'm streaming, damn it. Girlfriend is messaging me. Hold on.
Okay, sorry about the pause there, guys. My bad. My bad. The girlfriend was talking to me. <laughs> yeah. Sorry, guys. Back underway. Mike Oxman. <laughs> That's just going to be my excuse. Mike Oxman. <laughs> I was at the 06 Bank of America 500. Damn, so you were there, there, Lark Kyle Larson, when you were there. Gibbs should have learned from Yaley, but nope, you rushed Logano and Suarez up. You're right, and I th still think Byron got rushed up too, but you know. Yeah. It's got speed bus and NASCAR, any car, and F1. How on the living hell, man? I have no idea. The 08 Coke Zero 400 and the 15 EcoBoost 400. Um, Mike Ox blocking all these guys. Might actually go faster if I let one of them buy, but they'll probably run away from me. Arkham Knight says, you're good. Talk to your lady. I just gotta do what I gotta do sometimes. I do. I'm busy. I'm always busy. I say hello to my beautiful girlfriend, Melissa, too. Watch the you're right. Everyone doesn't have that opportunity. You are absolutely right there, Arkham. Say hello to my beautiful woman. Well, this stream is going to be funny. Now Scott Speed is in rally cross. <clears throat> Excuse me. Jimmy Johnson. Before Jimmy Johnson became seven-time Jimmy Johnson. This is rookie Jimmy Johnson. Oh, Jeff Purvis. Nope, no caution. He made a mistake. He slid and hit the wall, but no caution. That's going to free up some space behind us here. Jimmy Johnson is not running away from us either. That's a good thing. Let me draft here with some Jimmy Johnson. David Figueroa, what's up, man? Uh, Red Bull was a startup team. Yes, they were. Mm -hmm. Uh-uh, Jimmy Johnson. Get back here. Come here. Come back here, Jimmy Jackass. I need some... Uh, Mike Oxbig needs some love, man. Mike Ox needs some love. <laughs> like I said, a completely different mentality in this playthrough because I know we're doing okay right now in Daytona, but once we start hitting the actual mile and a half where our equipment is terrible, we are going to start doing terrible. And because it's such a difficult playthrough, especially with fixed setups, that um, I need to laugh. I need to have some enjoyment because if I don't laugh, I'm probably going to cry. <laughs> Car starting to get a little loose going into turn one and turn three. Just be careful with the wall like what if did back in Watkins Glen. That's right. Ian White, what's up, Ian White? And Chase Dunn, yes, I always say your full name because when I say Chase, I could just be, I could be saying Chase Elliott. I could be saying a couple other things like the Chase for the Cup. You know, I, I always, it's just me. I always say the full name one thing I want in NASCAR games is do not qualifies that's right I kind of always wanted that too but at the same time now realistic NASCAR 40 car fields is the max and we're not even getting 40 car fields anymore Red Bull is not good at NASCAR but they are good in F1 that's right J-O-K-E we're all going mad slow. I have no idea why. All right, that's cool though. Still drafting with Jimmy Johnson. We're up to ninth through these pit sequences here. Hmm. I may need to pit. I am going to try my absolute best to go one more lap. I'm gonna. I think I can squeeze out one more lap. Remember, in NASCAR Thunder 2004, we crashed out, well, the most recent NASCAR Thunder 2004 playthrough I did, I crashed out in the Daytona 500. Hopefully we don't have the same mistake here. Hopefully. I'm really hoping. <laughs> nah, one more. <laughs> that Jimmy Johnson kid is never going to amount to much of anything in Winston Cup. What the hell did Jeff Gordon and Rick Hendrick see in him? <laughs> That's right. What the hell did they see in him? That kid only won one Bush race and he's a cup driver now. <laughs> he wins one Bush race and he's a cup driver now. Gonna have to pit here. Definitely gonna... Well, I might be good on gas here. 
me and Jimmy Johnson, the rookies, strength in numbers, we're pitting here. We're gonna take ty uh, fuel only here. I can take... I'm gonna play it safe with the 16.5. Play it safe with the 16.5. Who remembers Toka? I remember Toka. I heard Thunder 04 is better than 03. Thunder 04 is better. It's a little bit... Well, we'll see how this playthrough goes. But from what I understand, it, Thunder 2004 is a little bit easier. Just a little bit. There we go. In and out. Clear. Let's merge, baby. In 13th spot. So we're going to have a decent showing here. Barring anything stupid. 16th. Okay. That's fine. The only thing that Jimmy Johnson accomplished in the Bush series was almost dying at the Glen. So here we are merging and getting back up to speed. We didn't really gain a whole lot of time here, but I mean, we also didn't lose a whole lot of time either. I'm going to try to jump up in here, cut Matt Kenseth off. And there's my fellow rookie compatriot in Jimmy Johnson. I'm getting no tires on this stop. Wasn't quite sure if I was going to be able to make it on a let on the half tank, but uh, yeah. 16th was where I finished in my 500 career mode. Oh, what up, K Cal? Toka was the best cheap sim racing game. Yes, it was. I agree. And Toka was made by Codemasters, was it not? I think it was. Sorry, Irishman. By Mike Ockblocked fucking <laughs> Mark Martin. What is up, K-Cow? How you doing? K-Cow, did you play it on Rookie or Veteran? Because this is on Legend, baby. Legend difficulty. Somebody's blow- Oh, dear God. Sorry. Sorry, Irishman. Car started pushing, pushing, pushing on these worn tires. Little contact with myself and fellow rookie companion in Jimmy Johnson. Ten four, boy, I want to allow you. People can actually race. I'm getting crashed out on the first turn at my home track of Dega, and it's retarded. People are stupid. Come do I racing? That's what I've done. I've ha I got fed up. Only reason why I think I did NASCAR Heat so much was that I get to stomp on people who don't have any sim racing experience, truth be told. Have I been ice skating before? No. I, I, could, I can rollerblade, but I don't ice skate. I'm on Legend difficulty in Thunder 04. Ah, okay. Alright, I think I'm going to let one of these knuckleheads in front of me. I think it's going to be Mark Martin. I need to apologize to Irishman. <laughs> so, I'll let Mark Martin skate. But, uh, Kurt Busch, I'm not going to let you skate. Get back there. <laughs> get in back. Get in, get in the back. Get your ass to the back. <laughs> okay, maybe not. Trying so hard to not, like, get loose going into these corners, and it's impossible. My leg is asleep. So Mark Martin ran away from me. He he doesn't want no my cock love. <laughs> my cock's love. <laughs> no my cock's love for Mark Martin. I'm just gonna block the shit out of everybody now. I'm gonna my cock block everybody. <laughs> I beat that once at Dega and he moved out of my way. <laughs> Curse goose. Fuck! <laughs> Kyle Larson wants to do iRacing. You totally should. It's expensive, but you should. It's where it's at, baby. That's where it's at. Looks like we probably could have come home 20th here, barring any cautions or barring any uh, Mike Cox big fuck ups. I'm trying to get ready to head out to Fontana Sunday, to be honest, but I like watching this first. Aha, cake cow thank you very much for the praise. Because this is interesting. This ain't no NASCAR 2005 King of the Castle stomp the field crap. No, this is, this is struggle. <laughs> this is struggle right here, baby. 
Looks like there's a duo in front of us that we're kind of catching a little bit. Somebody up there is holding up Mark Martin. Are you racing with my internet? Hell no. <laughs> oh, hell no. Like Fluffy. Gabriel Iglesias. Oh, hell no. <laughs> Looks like it's John and Jenny that's holding up Mark Martin, which is allowing us to catch both of them. Let me see if I can make a move here and maybe get myself up to 18th. Can I play tonight? No, I cannot play tonight, unfortunately. I have got to be awake at 6 o'clock in the morning. I gotta work on my Jeep. Brandon McComb, I think I'm gonna try I'm gonna try and uh, record most of the things I'm doing in my Jeep because it's a lot. White flag, I'm gonna have to go here in the Daytona 500 and we're making a move here on Mark Martin. Up to 19th. I'm gonna wait for Mark Martin to make a move here. I'm gonna see if I can get around John Andretti real quick. Now we're three wide behind me. Got the push. We're back. We're around John Andretti for the 18th spot. 19th spot. Oh, is he a lap down? Damn it! I thought that was a spot. Oh well. 19th, I guess it is. Ooh, Jimmy coming up. All right, Mike Cox being not exactly a stellar smashing performance, but 19th is okay. Ricky Rudd wins the Daytona 500. Bravo, Ricky Rudd. Very nice. Well, that doesn't happen very often. It makes you pay a whole lot more for any mistakes. You don't have the cushion of yellow flags to get caught up. The Windcraft car never even got a scratch in this race. I'm looking at scratches on the left side right now. What are you talking about? Drivers who take care of their cars make their jobs a whole lot easier when they aren't having to spend extra hours in the body shop each week. Thanks for joining us. For Barney Hall and the rest of us here at EA Sports at MRN, we'll see you next time. All right. So Mike Oxbig. Finishing 19th in the very first Daytona 500, we bring home $614,000. Yates, one and two. What if? That's right. Thank God I'm not sick with damn Cole Miss work, but I feel better now doing a live stream of both Forza 7 and Star Trek Online. Very nice. Announcer, you are wrong on the damage. That's right. I think if somebody else said it, humans to be assholes online. Watch Rudd win Rockingham in Vegas now. <laughs> All right, ladies and gentlemen, so there we are. Mike Oxbig with 40th Place Racing. He's from Frog Balls, Arkansas. <laughs> That's right. Stolen the Daytona 500 in my Thunder 2004 from Michael Waltrip. That's nice. That's right. That's nice. Let's rock. That's right. Off to Rockingham. You see that uh, our associate primary and team sponsor prestige has shot up. That's a good thing. Um, garage. We are going to... Read it this time, please. Hi, where's my what if? Read it this time, please. I will try, Ian. I will try. I will certainly try. Law's funny name. That's right. That was the intent, baby. We are going to repair engine number one. Because I like to have fresh equipment. I really do. Who in this chat knows to Tara Rum Pum? Not really. <laughs> I don't know. What are we going to do here? Should I? Can I R&D something? Let's do, uh... I really don't have the money to do R&D. I don't. Spun out and yellow came out with three to go. Deficiency, tire wear. You know what? Let's do the tire wear. Let's do some R&D on the tire wear for three races. Won't do iRacing until they implement their AI. I don't trust humans to not be assholes online. It is what people do. I am not that confident myself. Besides, AI is why I like NR2003. I can agree with that to a certain extent, but iRacing with the online experience, there's nothing like it. There really is nothing like that. It really isn't. Like Derek Cope. Dale, you've been keeping up with my current mode? I have KCAL. I haven't been doing it recently, but I was. I'm trying to catch up. A car in my NASCAR 2003 was a Pontiac Grand Prix. That's what pro leagues are for, young Ian. Bollywood stock car racing film. <laughs> All right, what am I doing here? All right, garage. Engines, repair. We're going to repair it for two races. 
and then the chassis as well we're going to repair it i wish i had the money to overhaul i don't have the money to overhaul and we don't have the r d to overhaul right now so love the look of the grand prix in 03 and 04 the grand prix meh i know the grand prix looked cool before they did the body unifications in 2003 so we're gonna select that engine because it's got the most power and this chassis because it's got the most tire grip we will accept that we're gonna change the car to car two which is the only one left now that we're fixing car number one this is my first live stream it's pretty cool thank god i got the notification thank you david miller you are awesome how are you doing sir thank you for the comments welcome to the stream you're a new face hopefully you guys like it hopefully you like it hopefully you saw the first three races already then dale spoiler alert stewart won all of them <laughs> so am i off work tomorrow no i am going into work tomorrow I am not going to be on the clock, but I will be working on my Jeep. I will be filming. Hopefully, Brandon McComb will like that. So far, the Z01 is underwhelming. As we get ready to go to Rockingham, North Carolina. God, I missed this track. <sighs> As again, ladies and gentlemen, legend difficulty, no assist. Uh, fixed setups, 10% race length. Yeah, you guys know the whole You guys know whole the shebang. The whole she, she bang, she bang, she bang. She bang, she bang, she bang. That's right, with driver Mike Oxbang. Well, remember, we do are, we are allowed to do tire pressure adjustments. That's what I'm going to do here. I'm just going to knock the tire pressure down to 20 pounds. We will accept that. Hey, Dale, it's like the Bollywood Days of Thunder slash Talladega Nights. <laughs> Don't worry, dude. They'll get it together soon. I agree. Cheers to you guys. Cheers. Who will my interaction be if Kevin Harvick wins again on Sunday for the fourth consecutive week? Awesome. Mads, 15 Silverado is nice. Nice. It is nice. The new Silverados, the Silverados of that generation are nice. They really are. Get ready to go qualifying here at Rockingham. I say Ricky Rudd won, wins Rockingham. <laughs> now, of course, since we're a startup team, our sponsorship is kind of low. Um, you know, I think I chose the highest paying sponsors, which, ay, ay, ay. Thirty-third on the first lap. That's not bad. Car's a little tight. This is when the games were really fun. That's right, and that's why I love I love these these older NASCAR games. That's why I play them so much because they're so much fun. I don't think we're gonna be any faster on the second lap here. Let's see what we got. Hopefully, you guys are enjoying the upscale graphics in the 60 frames. Thirty-second. So we do at least meet the qualifying one of at least 35th place. Harvick will win. Kamikaze will be angry and make Ty Dillon whine again. <laughs> this is unrealistic. Rockingham has a sold-out crowd in 2002. <laughs> well, like most know, a new car means complete change. It will take getting used to. That's right. Better than a generation before, but the best one is the square. Oh, yes, the square bodies from 73 to 87. That's right. Beautiful. All right, so that's right. Tire pressure is in. I'm just gonna do this one more time because I'm so used to doing this. So the default is in with the tire pressure change. Irishman, I you saw the video too where Ty Dillon called <laughs> Ty Dillon called out Kamikaze. <laughs> that's right. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to go racing here at Rockingham for race number two. Kicking off NASCAR Thunder 2003 with our driver of the number 83, Mike Oxbig. And that's right, that name is intentional. Ladies and gentlemen, I hope you guys are enjoying this as much as I am. Take it away, Barney Hall and Joe Moore. We're in Rockingham, North Carolina, home of the North Carolina Speedway for today's race, the Subway 400. Drivers say this place can be one difficult track to master. North Carolina is a fast track, considering it's only a mile long. The corners are tricky, though, and getting off them fast is the key to getting speed down the straightaways. Johnny Benson won the Bush Series championship in 1995. That championship was sandwiched between two Rookie of the Year awards. He won the Bush Series award in 1994, followed up his championship with Winston Cup rookie honors in 96. Jerry Nadeau is one of those guys who you just keep expecting to break out and have a good year. Yeah, you do, but he's got a ton of talent and some good equipment. He's shown he can win and run up front. Now he's just got to string some success together and gain some confidence out there.
All right. Chase Dunn is hoping to get his hands on that 66 or 68 Nova. Rebuild that beautiful bitch. Yeah, buddy. If you can, if you could find somebody that's selling a 1970 Chevrolet Chevelle SS. Oh, that'd be beautiful. Zare Bear, Amarola was an idiot for blocking that hot on the track. Edwards, you guys are all talking about. So what's my favorite track in this game, Dale? Every track. Every NASCAR game that's got it. Pocono. Pocono is my favorite track in any NASCAR game. As long as the NASCAR game has Pocono in it, it's my favorite track. <laughs> I was at this race, everyone. Oh, were you really? Kiss was forced down to the double yellow line. The racing scenes for Tara Rum Pum were filmed at Rockingham. Nice. Ladies and gentlemen, race number two of Mike Oxbeg's racing career. <laughs> Green flag is out. We're underway here at Rockingham for 39 laps. Yeah. Hopefully this isn't a total shit show. This is where we're going to come off of our high at Daytona for finishing 19th. And now we're going to start sucking absolute shit. I'm not even going to lie. We're going to start sucking shit right here. Still could have lifted. Just like Dylan. <laughs> they both could have lifted and avoided the accidents. You're right. You guys are right. But it's the last lap of the Daytona 500. Tell me, you got a chance to win. Are you taking your foot off the gas? I didn't think so. Why Rusty Wallace is so far back here, I have no idea. I have no idea why he's so far back. So what happens if you get NASCAR for the race broken? I heard it's next to impossible to win at that track on the hardest difficulty. Challenge accepted, KCAL. I will try to do that. I don't have NASCAR 14, but I do have NASCAR 15 for the PC, and I will certainly try to make that happen. Turn one, I remember in those games were an absolute bitch. <laughs> at least that's what I heard, they're an absolute bitch. Look at us going backwards, is that Amy Hicks? No, I think that's, I think that's Jamie McMurray. I think that's McMurray. Holy cow. When has the same shit a few years back. My dog likes Austin Dillon. Again, forgive me if I'm not paying attention to comments all that much, because, like I said, I'm trying to not completely lose my ass here, apparently. Amy Hicks is in there 27. Why am I... Oh my god, I'm falling backwards like crazy. It's the what-if glitch! Qualify really good and then just fall backwards like a rock through water. I would love to be able to get to the bottom if I could, please and thank you. That would be most beneficial. <laughs> it really would, it'd be most beneficial. But you know, I can't get to the damn bottom. That's right. Mike Oxbeck got frustrated. Get out of my way, Elliot Sadler. <laughs> I don't have anywhere near enough the gear ratio to get a pull off these corners. Somebody's in the wall up there. Looks like that's Ricky Craven. Ricky Craven tagged the wall. That's right. I could have swore it was McMurray in that 27 to start the career anyways. But I think McMurray retires after like one year. Who knows? Real fan. Mike is also an Austin Dillon fan. I'm not an Austin Dillon fan. I'm just a three fan. Austin is nothing like senior, you're right. Yeah, I'll try to keep it as smooth as possible there, crew chief. I don't have a favor since junior retired. You know, convert over to Ch the Chase Elliottism. Chase Elliottism. Right, just waiting for it. Yeah, we're maintaining in 38th. Yeah, I know we're slipping on the clock. We need about five million more dollars in research and development to go faster. <laughs> you got money, crew chief? Because I sure as hell don't. I freaking mortgaged my house three times. I'm sorry, no. It's Mike Oxpig. Mike Oxpig. Mike Oxpig mortgaged his fucking mobile home like ten times just to go racing <laughs> from Frog Balls, Arkansas. We're in 41st spot. 
There we go. Now we're living up to our true team name of 40th place racing. <laughs> I'm trying to, I'm, give, I'm giving you all I got, crew chief. I'm giving you all I got. I am wide ass open. Giving you all I got. I don't got nothing more for you. As we drift back to 40 second spot. <laughs> Look at the leader too. The leader has got a nasty lead, whoever that is. Adam Petty was going to be a big star. Senior nowadays is thought of as a god. As we're gonna fall to last place here. This is awesome. Can't tell you're about to run out of fuel. I don't know. <laughs> Like I said, completely different from NASCAR 2005. We're dead ass last right now. Fighting Greg Biffle for 40 second spot as, who the hell is leading this thing? Tires are worn. Bobby Labonte, look at the Gibbs cars, man, running away from the rest of the field. Bobby Labonte and Tony Stewart in those Beautiful Pontiacs running away from everybody. I overdrive turn one like a dipshit. Here comes the leaders to put us a lap down 14 laps into the event. Tony Stewart is going to use me as a pick against Bobby Labonte. And we fall on a lap down 14 laps into this race. This is fantastic. We're doing so well. Yeah, we do need more speed, crew chief. You got any ideas? Because I'm all out of ideas. <laughs> Mike Oxbig is pretty shriveled up right now. <laughs> He's pretty shriveled up right now about running dead last. <laughs> he slams the wall. Good lord. Yeah, there's something wrong with the car. It's called not enough R&D. <laughs> I don't know how they let us get out onto the track with a car as bad as this. You're down on fuel. This car was built in my in the backyard of my fucking trailer park. <laughs> I'm surprised we passed template inspection. This car is terrible. I don't have any gear pull off these corners whatsoever. I'm at a flat 6,000 RPMs. This is why it's so hard. I bet you if I had, you know, 2,000 more RPM coming off the corner, I wouldn't have a problem. Slamming the right side of this car, man. Oh, this is terrible. I'm trying, crew chief. I'm giving you all I got. You might want to park the car. Now the car is... Oh, dear God. I just got in the way of Dale Jarrett. I am so sorry. You just got <laughs> my cock blocked without intentionally having it done. <laughs> oh, my God. Oh, my Lord. All right. Caution at any point now would be fantastic. Caution now would be freaking fantastic. It would be fantastic. I definitely got to loosen this thing up a little bit. This thing is tight. This thing is bullet tight. Dear Lord. You're right. I should park it. Yeah, I'll park it all right. Definitely not going to do that. I'm going to have to pit right here. And yeah, I need a big adjustment. I need some. I need something here. Need to pull something out of my ass. I'm not repairing damage. Um, half round down on the wedge. Give me another pound down on the tire pressure. Oh, Lord. I might go two laps down here. Oh my god, and to top it off, my fucking right front tire changer. This is a lost cause of a race. <laughs> oh, this is so terrible. 
20.8 second pit stop. Oh my god. And I'm 43rd still. <laughs> oh baby. Oh, this is awesome. Mike Oxbig is stinking up the show, bro. Really badly. Y'all talking about Danica and Eric Almarola. I mean, Eric Almarola. Yeah, Eric Almarola, man. He's done a lot better than Danica has. God, this car is so terrible. Everyone's like, you should just park it. No, I'm not parking it. God damn it, if my car will still run, I gotta beat somebody. Somebody's gonna blow up here eventually. That is not the lap time I'm looking for. I'm still looking for about two more two more seconds of time. I don't park it, baby. My sim racing experience, when I used to run 100% length races, I never parked it, even if I wrecked out early. I don't park it, baby. Gotta get every position. You're looking great from where I'm sitting. How's the car feel? Really? I'm looking great from where you're sitting. Have you noticed, Crew Chief, that we're fucking two laps off the pace? We're two seconds off the pace in dead last. Heh, <laughs> look at this pleb. <laughs> Legend difficulty, no assist, and fixed setups. About to go two laps down here right quick. <laughs> I bet you if I could even change gear ratios, I'd be better off. Is that the square D car that's leading? Is that Bobby Hamilton that's leading? Whoa, that was a quick lap. Number 22, Letting the leaders go. Is that Ward Burton leading? I don't even think Dale is maintaining minimum speed. That's bad. The handling is better. I like Bubba, he's funny, has a cool personality. I agree. Robbie Gordon tats, tags the wall behind us. That's it. That's the speed we're looking for. Two laps down in 27 fucking laps. <laughs> Dear God, we're Derek Cope slow. <laughs> My crew chief has been snorting crack again. <laughs> That's what he's been doing. He's been snorting crack again. That's all right. My crew chief is a is a part-time fucking math. <laughs> My crew chief is a part-time fucking meth lab worker. <laughs> the crew chief is on hallucinogens. Kyle Larson is like, park it. No, I'm not parking it. I refuse to park the car. I'm gonna run all the fucking laps that I can, baby. Run all the laps I can. Like I said, I need to laugh. I need to have a good time. Because if I don't laugh, I'm probably going to cry. <laughs> this game is going to make me cry. Come on, somebody's got to fucking blow up. Somebody has got to blow up, man. Somebody. I got to get that 40 second spot. <laughs> Your car is struggling to maintain minimum speed. Hey, okay, run into the wall. Just one more time for good measure. I don't even think it's going at race speed. I'm going at fuel economy speed. I'm going at fuel economy speed. That's what I'm doing, baby. Parking it is like quitting. You don't see guys like the Benedetto parking every week. That's right, David Miller. You tell him. That's right, David. Miller, you tell him. I parked it after New Hampshire, kind of, sort of. <laughs> kind of, sort of. I don't know if you consider that parking it there, what if. I think that's more of like sending it. <laughs> Go fast doesn't run complete junk. Oh, 
Holy vey, this is terrible. We're getting passed by every car in the field. Yo, my car's so slow that Derek Cove fucking laughed me. <laughs> That's terrible. <laughs> Matt Benedetto will win a race this year or next year. The burrito! Yo, I'm running so slow, I swear. I got passed. I'm running so slow, I think I got passed by a kite. <laughs> There's a goose that's flying behind me, and I'm telling it to go around me. It's like that Ron White joke. <laughs> we're, tra we're traveling in an airplane that big. It's like a pack of gum with eight people. I like burrito. I like burrito too. If the if the burrito wins at Talladega, that would be fucking awesome. That would be so awesome. See, somebody blew up. See, I still have a chance to pick up 42nd spot. Thank you, Jerry Meth, I mean Mayfield. <laughs> I'm gonna pick up, I'm gonna pick up one spot, baby. So all is not lost. Everyone telling me, park it, park it. I ain't fucking parking it, fuck that shit. Car's still running. I'm like Dale Earnhardt, baby. Engine still runs, I still got four wheels on the fucking thing. I'm driving it, baby. I'm driving it. Fuck that noise. White flag, we're gonna have to go here. He vaped in the car. <laughs> Want to see if I could beat Mayfield, Methfield. Back to the line, I might finish 42nd. <laughs> As I slam the wall one more time, I almost take Rusty Wallace out. Look at that, 42nd. In your faces. <laughs> in your faces. In your faces. I got 42nd. <laughs> I'm kidding, by the way. But I got 40 seconds. It was worth it to stay in it. The Windcraft car didn't have much of a race. I hate it for those guys, too. They were so positive about their chances to win this morning, but then they just had a bad race. It happens. From all of us here at EA Sports at MRN, thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Yeah, I picked up $143,000. All righty. S and P. <laughs> Only reason you don't have to deal with parking compared to S start and park team in real life is because you don't have you don't have to pull the costs associated with race weekend. That's right. It's very true. Dear God. Here's the standings after two races and Mike Oxbig has dropped down to thirty first in points. It's two starts, no polls, no wins, no top fives and no top tens. <laughs> Scrolling up. Tony Stewart is currently leading the points with Ricky Rudd, Dale Jarrett, Bobby Labonte, and Kevin Harvick, the top five. With Sterling Marlin, Jeff Gordon, Dale Earnhardt Jr., Michael Waltrip, and Ryan Newman, the top ten. And of the top ten, two of the top ten still currently actively racing in NASCAR. That car lost races to a tortoise and a snail. <laughs> I'm not losing patience and going through the race. You got to push through the bad, the good, and the bad. That's right. That's right. Thank you, David Miller. Hey, Dale, I've got a D burrito hat. Hey, Kyle Larson owns you. I got D burrito's autograph, buddy. That's right. I met him in New Hampshire last September, and that was awesome. You will not make the chase this year. You will not pass go. You will not pass and collect two hundred dollars. <laughs> Cars. All right, we're gonna modify car number two. We're gonna select another shitty engine with another shitty chassis. <laughs> We're gonna accept the changes. Oh boy. Oh boy. Yep. All right, Ray, ladies, ladies and gentlemen, race three at fucking. Oh, I hate Las Vegas. I do. I hate Las Vegas. It doesn't matter if it's the flat configuration or the new configuration. I fucking hate Las Vegas. Fuck you, Bruton Smith, for taking away the New Hampshire race from me. Yeah, I hate you. 
All right, ladies and gentlemen, default setup is in. I am going to. I got his autograph on my D burrito hat, Dale. I got his autograph on a eight by ten. I'm gonna go with the. Uh... No, you know what? I'm gonna go with. I'm gonna leave it. I'm gonna leave it purely default. I'm gonna leave the tire pressure where it's at. Actually, no. You know what? I lied. I'm sorry. I'm gonna make a wedge adjustment. I'm gonna do one full round of wedge down. Now I'm gonna do a couple pounds down on the tire pressure. Again, fixed setups, but with pit adjustments. I thought, wait, I thought Vegas had two races this year. You're right. Don't remind me. I like Vegas, it's a great track. I hate Las Vegas. Those bastards took my fall New Hampshire race. The one race I go to every year. Let's see how Mike Oxbig performs in uh, Vegas, this, this in Vegas here. I think this wedge adjustment is uh, got the car pretty friggin' loose, gotta say. Tokyo drifting, baby. How you like that? Tokyo drifting. That killed my exit, though. Oh my god, that killed my exit. I am still dog shit slow. 38th, I'm not last. It was worth it to run this qualifier. I think the one round of wedge is a little too loose. <laughs> I think I agree with you, Sparky. The one round down is a little too loose. Oh, that killed my exit right there. Damn it. Son of a gun. We're going to be using those provisionals a lot. <laughs> 37th. <laughs> Friday nights is a perfect night to do a live stream. I know a lot of people have Friday nights as the only free time in their week. Unfortunately, David Miller, I do not usually do this on Fridays. It'll be every Thursday at 8 p.m. Eastern. I'm only doing it on Friday because I could not do it yesterday. I was too preoccupied with taking care of some business here at the house. So. Damn it, Dale. Vegas was a snore fest. Yeah, Vegas was amazing last week. <laughs> I know, right? What are we looking for? I'm going to take out... What am I doing? I'm gonna take out that wedge. I'm gonna leave it at that. See, by sticking through it, he gets 42. That's worth it. That's right, David Miller. 42nd. It was worth staying in it. That's one spot. Damn right. <laughs> I didn't win two. No, I didn't win five online sim racing championships by quitting out because I wasn't gonna finish well. I stayed in it, baby. That's why I got the five championships, because I stayed in it. 100% length races, I got wrecked on lap 20, guess what? There was one race in Atlanta where we did 300, all 325 laps. I got wrecked on lap 19. I limped that bitch around for 306 laps and finished sixth. That's how we win a championship right there. I literally fell asleep twice, not once, twice. Mike Oxbig is getting ready to do race number three of his career here at the Las Vegas Motor Speedway. Take it away, Joe Moore and Barney Hall. NASCAR Winston Cup Racing has hit the jackpot this week as we come to Las Vegas Motor Speedway for today's UAW Daimler Chrysler 400. I'm Joe Moore along with Barney Hall. We'll be bringing you all the action right here on the MRN. What kind of things should we look for in this one, Barney? Well, the good thing about the tracks like this, there's plenty of room out there to avoid accidents. I look for these guys to have a pretty clean run, and we probably won't see the big one that we talk about at some of the other tracks. We saw quite a finish here in Las Vegas in 1999 when Jeff Burton edged out his older brother, Ward, for the win. That wasn't the only time that happened in 99. Ward finished runner-up to Jeff three times in 99, making Ward wait until 2000 for his second trip to Victory Lane. Mike Skinner has had some great success in one of NASCAR's other circuits. He certainly was impressive driving trucks in 1995. He earned 10 poles and won the championship that year. Then he followed it up with a third place finish the following year before moving on to Winston Cup. Engines have fired. Ryan Newman and Dale Jarrett. A pair of Ford Tauruses share in the front row. Ricky Rudd in third. My goodness. 
<clears throat> what do I get when I won the championships? I got trophies. I got a big ass trophy that I got for winning a championship with them. So I got a few trophies actually. So it's actually very cool. That's what I got for winning those championships. I did. I got some championships. No money though. No money. Why after this? After watching What If? There's a clip from Jeff Gordon that said, "Congratulations." Sorry for the spoiler. <laughs> Mike Oxbeck is getting ready here. Green flag is out. 26 laps here for the UAW Daimler Chrysler 400 here at Las Vegas Motor Speedway. That's right. I am the 2009 and 2010 Nuff World Cup Series champion. <clears throat> and then a 2012, 13, and 14 Nuff World uh, Pearson Series champion. So, yeah. The Pure Sim Series is where we ran 50% race length and fixed setups. <clears throat> the Cup Series is where we ran 100% race lengths and it was open setups. <clears throat> I bet you we'll fall backwards real quick here in a hurry too. God, I hate this track. Contact with Jerry Nadeau. Excuse me. You say that as if it means something. Dewstorm, how many sim racing championships do you have, sir? Mm -hmm. Then shut up. <laughs> Mike Oxbeg's gonna win a championship in NASCAR Thunder 2003 before you win an online sim racing championship. Oh, burn, just kidding. Hashtag spit and fire. I got owned, that's right. <laughs> you got owned. How many trophies do you have? None, exactly. But you know, that's, you know, none of my business. Dear God, this car is slow. <clears throat> I am slow as hell. That car just sounds slow, dude. It's It sounds flat, truth be told. I think I'm going to try it for Atlanta. I'm going to try just adjusting the gear ratio. I'll do a totally fixed setup except for gear ratio at Atlanta. Let's face it. I don't want to finish dead last in every race. <laughs> the car lost to a snail. I do have a trophy for winning a Dega. Bullshit, you do. In a NASCAR Heat 2 online race. Yeah, bullshit. It's like, as soon as I want to pick up the power because I want to go faster, the car just slides. It's terrible. Terrible. We just have no speed and no handling. We don't have anything. Sounds like the car's running on seven cylinders every race. Nah, oh, dude. This thing's running on like four cylinders. It's in eco mode. <laughs> My car is in like 100% unchangeable eco mode. <laughs> it's like General Motors in their eight cylinders when they have the, uh, the, what the hell is it called? Ooh, we got accidents up here. Yay, give me spots. I'll take spots. Mike Oxbig, diving into turn three and taking spots. Up to 33rd. How about that? I'll take it. Mike Oxbig. Mike Oxbig just kind of spurred ahead. <laughs> the 33rd spot. Oh, the sexual innuendos here are going to be relentless with this name. <laughs> it has a Ford motor. How about this rule? Full custom setup, but there needs to be one thing for all races that you can't change at all. Must be default. Your car got eco no boost. It's like General Motors dis displacement on de on demand. Yo, this car is so fast that Martin Truex could ride a fucking Martin Truex could pull a SpongeBob and ride a boulder faster than this car. <laughs> <laughs> can't make fun of Ford this season. That's right. I can't make fun of Ford. They're fast this season. That's right. They are. 
I would rather support Ford than support Toyota because at least Ford is a gener is a uh, American brand, baby. Ford is an American brand. Toyota is not. <laughs> I would rather support. I'm a Chevy guy, but I'll support Ford any day over Toyota. They're dominating. Yes, they are, David. They are dominating. That car lost to a rock. I got passed by a kite. Well, hopefully you guys are at least enjoying the beautiful graphics in the, you know, 60 frames. Focus RS, yeah. I don't know if I want to Focus RS anymore. They're having head gasket problems like crazy, which really doesn't surprise me. When you crank 330 horsepower out of a 2.3 liter four-cylinder with turbo. <laughs> Does not surprise me in the slightest. Not even Harvick's window could help this car. <laughs> Yo, not even, not even Harvick's window or Chase Elliott's fucking rear suspension or fraction could help this car. <laughs> I'm gonna attempt it for Atlanta. For Atlanta, I'm gonna attempt to just go with a purely default setup except for gear ratio. I'm gonna try to push the gear ratio as far as possible just to find a little something. Even Michael Washam's jet fuel can't help it. Brandon McComb, I'll still take a Ford Focus ST though. That car is still awesome. You're right, Ian. Toyota does really do a lot for the lower series and all that stuff. I, I agree. And that's good, but it doesn't mean I have to root for them on Sunday though. I respect what they do for the sport and the money they put into it, but doesn't mean I like them. Doesn't mean I have to. It, yeah. Doesn't mean I have to like them. GM, my auto teacher told me that General Motors made a mistake with their cooling system. Oh yeah, it's been that way for years. There's a reason. Oh my god, I just went a lap down. Dale Jarrett is leading. He just put us a lap down again. Yeah, we do need more speed, crew chief. Can you can you help me out a little bit, other than just telling me what we need? Like, do you have any ideas? Do you have any actual? constructive thoughts as to how we can get more speed out of this car without spending five billion dollars to do it. <laughs> Damn it, crew chief. I thought you were smarter than this. Yes, Brandon McComb. General Motors, there's a reason why it's called Dex Kill, not Dex Cool. Dex Kill. <laughs> GM's cooling systems have been god awful for. 25 years now. Awful. Oh, big slide. Dex Cool, the coolant that they use, the orange crap, is not good. And what GM does wrong is that they use inferior gasket sealing stuff. Inferior gasket sealing materials and crap like that. GM's V6 engines all the way back from the 3.1, the LHO 3.1, the flat top, the MP, the multi-port fuel injection 3.1 from the early 90s to the L82, which was the revised 3.1, the sequential fuel injection, and all the way up. Coolant leaks like a mother trucker. I'm gonna do that. I don't want to repair damage. Tire pressure seems okay. I'm just gonna leave it. Okay, you got it. Ugh, I got passed by a bicycle. I know, I got passed by a bicycle. I got passed by a bunch of crap. Oi. Goal, top 40. <clears throat> Goal, 42nd. 
40th place racing. There is a reason why my team is 40th place racing. It's because it's a goal to finish at least 40th. <laughs> Dear God Almighty. Kevin Harvis got some damage up on that rear bumper I'm happening, happening to notice. Ooh, maybe I regret the, uh, maybe I regret this wedge adjustment. <laughs> Casually puts Toyota sticker on my car, speed gets quadrupled. <laughs> got that Joe Gibbs horsepower. I got passed by Anybody re remember playing Gran Turismo 4 and, re and getting the 1886 Mercedes-Benz car? That car is faster than this race car right now. <laughs> that car literally could go faster than this. <clears throat> no, you mean VTEC, Irishman. VTEC, bro. Do you even VTEC? Kurt Busch is behind me. I am kind of slightly regretting that wedge adjustment. That's okay though. Got nobody behind me. Richman? Richman? VTech Richman? Richman? Yeah, I'm using the apron. <laughs> Typo. Come on, we need another blown engine. I got passed by a tree. <laughs> I got passed by a tree. What's up, Dale? Just got back from work. What up, Dennis? How you doing, man? Thanks for tuning into the stream. How you doing? Thanks for tuning in there, boss man. Kicking off Mike Oxbig's NASCAR Thunder 2003 career. And we are slower than dog shit. <laughs> I got passed by a kite. A leaf fell off a tree and it momentarily passed me. And I may or may not have tried to draft off of that leaf. <laughs> lose the spots I just gained. I didn't gain any spots. I'm still in 43rd. I'm a lap and a half down in 20 laps here at Las Vegas. Oh, there's a blown engine. That's Shauna, Shauna Robinson. That blew up. Looks that way. I'll take that spot. Thanks, Shauna. Love you, girl. <laughs> I'll have to repay you later there, Shauna Robinson. A little bit of Mike Oxbig love. <laughs> a little bit of Mike Oxbig. Yeah, just kidding. BK Racing doesn't have good equipment like Joe Gibbs Racing. Our great buddy rode second in his third, in his third horse race. That's the equivalent of running two yeah, second in a person's third right ever crash truck car. race. Nice, awesome, awesome sauce. Congratulations, sir. Wish I could run third, run you know, third right now. I can't run third. I'm running 42nd. Meth head crew chief, I know, right? Running on the apron, you know. Kevin Harvicking it. You would blame JGR for being fast, not Toyota then. Lol, I got passed by a kite. Not even Star Trek's warp drive can help this car. That's almost third, typo. 43rd. <laughs> 43rd. Bro, I got passed by the pace car. The pace car officially ran more laps than I did. <laughs> I'm just in the way, in the way, Ray, right now. Dale, the orange cone is faster than this. <laughs> we are terrible, like I said. But the next race is going to be the last one of this stream tonight. It's Atlanta. I'm going to try a little something different for Atlanta. Maybe make it a little less um, terrible, I guess. <laughs> yeah, we're definitely not going to make the chase. <laughs>
Oh, 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 I am so sorry, Michael Waltrip. Michael Waltrip just got Mike Ox bigged. Anyone to Mike do? Oh, who the fuck are you? I'm gonna try something different for Atlanta. We've gotta make team improvements. I'm so slow that my crew chief is telling me cars are headed down pit road because they're fucking finished with the race. <laughs> Dale Jarrett wins at Las Vegas with Ricky Rudd second. Look at that. Didn't fly at all in this one. Yeah, and that can be physically exhausting to these drivers. Not only do the cautions give them a chance to catch up on the racetrack, it also gives both their minds and their bodies a little break. They have all got to be drained after that one the Windcraft car took excellent care of his race car and that'll be a relief on the old wallet too cost big money to keep these NASCAR Winston Cup cars in tip-top shape week in and week out when you don't damage them on race day help save a lot of time and a lot of money unfortunately we're out of time for now thanks for joining us next up is Atlanta all right going to hot Atlanta after making a cool fucking 108 G 108 G's <laughs> This is god terrible. Yes, we will make the chase, as in the chase the leaf I was drafted. That's right, that is. Chasing the leaf, baby. Alright, here we go. Standings after three. Dale Jarrett's got the points lead with Ricky Rudd, Tony Stewart, Jeff Gordon, Ryan Newman in the top five with Dale Hart Jr., Kevin Harvick, Bobby Labonte, Sterling Marlin, and Mark Martin in the top ten in points. Your boy Mike Oxbig. 34th, baby. Team 40th place racing from Frog Balls, Arkansas. <laughs> from the trailer, baby. Straight out the trailer. We're going to build another car. We do have 100% um, condition engine and chassis. Thank goodness. Thank God. And we're going to change to car number three. We still got one more uh, race left with the R&D for the chassis tire wear. The complaining is starting to get almost to a quarter of what-if levels. <laughs> so love you, love you, senpai. Love you, senpai. That's right. We're going to try a little something different here. The way you drive the trailer is faster than you. <laughs> Yo, my Cobalt could go faster than this race car. That's all right. Team 40th place racing. That's right, baby. Brandon McComb. That's right. Going to Atlanta here. Mike Oxbig is off to his shoddy start. But we're going to see if we can make uh, an improvement here. I got a different idea here. We're going to do a default setup. But the only thing we're going to change is the gear ratios. Now, I'm doing this based off of... You going to repair anything after Atlanta? Uh, yeah, I should be repairing stuff after Atlanta. Brian fans can drive faster than this. That's right. 42nd place racing. <laughs> So I'm only doing this because I saw what ifs videos. So I'm just gonna go with that 106, the 106 fourth gear, and that's all I'm changing. Everything else is default except for the gear ratio, as a matter of fact, there it is. I'm gonna try the gear ratios here. Um, just trying to do a little com combination to make it so that we're not so suck shit slow. <laughs> Let's go qualifying here. Mike Oxbig here at Atlanta in the final race of this live stream kicking off NASCAR Thunder 2003. Oh my god, this sounds so much better. Listen to that car. Sounds so much better. See where we here after the first lap. Well, wouldn't you look at that? Oh my god, every time I want to put the power down, it fucking slides on me. Maybe you shouldn't need to fix some gear ratios. Possibly. The car sounds a lot better. It really does. It sounds a ton better. Hey, just remember, it's not where you start, it's where you finish. 
29th. I'll take it. I'll take it. 29th. Consider this like the first three races we were kind of didn't know what we were doing. Now we've got some data in our team. We're learning some things about the car. Think of it this way. We're starting to make a little bit of progress. That's right. That Virginia loss messed up my bra most brackets. Boozy my ears. Just be careful with that mayo line. I will certainly try there, Sparky. Arkham says maybe you need to fix some gear ratios. Quite possibly. It could be. Who knows? We'll see if this works out. But I'm trying not to make it so that it's so overkill. So if I have to start doing setups, I will. However, it was a little bit of an improvement. Qualified 29th. Okay, Dale, you're go for Atlanta. Don't wreck out. I will try not to, sir. I will not try not to wreck out of Atlanta Motor Speedway. Gear ratios. I'm going to back that down just to click. Actually, no, you know what? Fuck it. We're going full bore. 106 it is. Ladies and gentlemen, we're going racing here at Atlanta race number four of Mike Oxbeck's career playthrough here at NASCAR Thunder 2003. The MBNA America 500. Barney Hall and Joe Ward. Take it away, gentlemen. MRN welcomes you to Hampton, Georgia, site of today's NASCAR Winston Cup race, the MBNA America 500. I think we're in for some incredible racing, judging by this track's history. The high speeds that can be reached here does make for some exciting racing. There's no restrictor plates to keep them from being able to pass either. It's just all out, flat, good old stock car racing with the best drivers in the business. I can't wait to get this one underway. Something a little out of the ordinary in this one for Ward Burton. Yeah, he's definitely not used to having to pick through traffic so early in a race. This could make it an exciting race for him, or it could be disastrous. You just never know when you start in the back. The Windcraft car really needs a good finish in this race. He's got a long way to go on the points list. And, of course, nobody wants to be on the bottom of that points list. He'll have to work extra hard to pick up spots. Not an easy task to dig yourself out of a hole in this series. An unusual back-of-the-pack start for Steve Park. You're right, it's going to be tough for him. You get so used to starting up front, and then you have an off week, and you have to start towards the back. Then when race day comes, you feel like you passed a 1,000 cars at the end. And worse yet, sometimes you never make it to the front. Engines have fired here at Atlanta. Look at that in all Ford front row once again. Dale Jarrett killing it. Just like he did in What If's career mode playthrough with uh, with Dario Kowicki. He is mad OP in Thunder 03. That's right. I was a poet and didn't even know it. Race number four about to commence here. Green flag is out. We are underway here at Atlanta for 32 laps. Mike Oxbig with a different setup under him this time around. Who did that national anthem? Sound terrible, in my opinion. I don't know who did. I told you, gear ratios. We're gonna see what the gear ratios can do here again with a completely fixed setup, except for the gear ratios. We did adjust the gear. Let's see what we can do here in this final race of tonight's live playthrough here. Once again, I thank you guys so very much for tuning in and joining in. Starting our journey with Mike Oxbrig here in the number 83. Car is looser than shit. Oh my god. I am doing everything I can to like hold on to it. Wrench monkey. Woo. I have a feeling I still have a really bad feeling you're gonna fall back to 42nd. <laughs> I know, right? It'll be terrible, won't it? I seem to be holding station, oh dear god, a little bit better than I was in the other two races. At least I'm not dropping like a fucking rock. Because tire wear might screw me over, that's right. You are very correct there, okay, Cal. Ricky Rudd, why is Ricky Rudd so far back? I'm just waiting for that accident to happen any time now. They all checked up in front of me there a little bit.
You hit Nadu three times and he's still passing. I know he did. Fellow Connecticut man, Jerry Nadu. A fellow Connecticut guy. I know Joey Logano's from Connecticut too, but he's a rich white boy. See? Progress. That's right, progress. Baby steps, baby, baby steps. I'm making progress. It's the first time I passed a car since Daytona. <laughs> on the track. <clears throat> first time I passed a car on the track and didn't pass it because they blew up. My fuel mileage is probably taking a dump though. With the height with the freaking shorter gear. Ox Big is from Arkansas, baby. Frog Balls, Arkansas. I stole that one from George Carlin. <clears throat> you know, it's never too early to make plans. We're going to Frog Balls, Arkansas in 2025. <laughs> I don't know. My, I mean, I kind of want to stay here. The wife wants to go down to the beach in Florida. The kids kind of want to go to California. And my daughter <laughs> and my, uh, my stepson wants to go see his mom in Frog Balls, Arkansas. <laughs> totally stole it from George Carlin, by the way. Rest in peace, George Carlin. Greatest comedian ever. Jeff Gordon outside the top 20 at Atlanta? Weird. Yeah, it is a little weird, isn't it? Going for a top 30. What? That is if I don't absolutely kill the fucking tires, man. With the high, with the lower gear... With the lower gear, it's causing me to, have to chirp the rear tires more. Because you're putting more horsepower to the road. Anybody behind me? That's Ken Schrader. He's not. He's not completely grilling down on me. <clears throat> Raise the wedge. I think I might go up a half a click on the wedge. My right front is wearing down. I could have swore I'm tearing the crap out of this right rear with how much it's sliding. It. Just waiting on Mike Oxpick to choke the race all the way down. <laughs> They do almost dumped him. You're right. Almost. Yeah, my fuel mileage is taking a dump. Look at that. I got loose because uh, Ken Schrader was up on my bumper there. Just like I chose, I mean, chasing. Oh, that's messed up, Irishman. That is messed up. Every time I want to put the power down in the center of the corner, the car just jumps sideways. What? Actual semblance of speed? I know, right? Some kind of speed, anyways. Just like Kyle Busch. I, mean. <laughs> I mean, Kyle Busch. <laughs> I mean, Kyle Busch. I'm sorry, not Chase Elliott. Kyle Busch. Sorry, I want to wrap the cigarette up. I'm sorry, guys. I'm getting there. I am. I'm getting there. I'm going to try to run more like that, Chief. I will. Every time I want to put the power down right there in the center of the corner, she just skips sideways. My car is not that bad. You're right. My car is not that bad. It's all gear ratios, too. It is. It's all gear. It's all gearing. Being more aggressive with the gearing. Kyle bitch. I mean, Kyle Bush. I mean, Kyle bitch. I mean, yeah. Sorry. <clears throat> Damn. Unlike certain tracks, there's in Vegas. <laughs> Irishman, maybe round three for the craziest view. 
Look at that. I'm oh my god, I'm in the top 30. Look at this team out. Look at this team over overachieving what their name is. <laughs> Our team is totally overachieving right now. <laughs> that slap was sort of slow because I'm got a worn tires there, Chief. Go back to smoking your crack. What an unforeseen result. <laughs> I actually have speed. What an unforeseen result. Oh my god. Ooh, drifting. In before pit crew screws you over. <laughs> Look at Jamie McMurray coming up on my bumper here. And number 27. I knew you were gonna say his name again. I know, I always do. It's a habit of mine, unfortunately. I know. Kyle bitch, I mean Kyle bitch, uh, Kyle but. At that time, I throw in the towel and say, fuck it, I give up. <laughs> I am loose, and the tires are pretty wore out. I am pretty loose. I'm really having to slow it down quite a bit in the center of the corner. Like I said, I want to get back on the gas, but I can't do that because it'll just jump sideways on me. Very low fuel. I'm gonna go one more time, screw it. I want the fresher tires at the end. The one lap fresher tires. Overdrove that turn like a noob. Don't tell me what, don't ask me what's wrong. You know what's wrong, damn it. <laughs> no way to make fun of Busher, right? I know, right? No way to make fun of Busher. All right, I'm gonna be pitting this time here. Ooh. I mean, the pit lane. Don't wreck. Don't wreck. Don't wreck. Don't wreck. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. Don't fuck up. <laughs> Go half around up on the wedge and call it right there. <laughs> don't ask me what's wrong. You know what's wrong. <laughs> you know goddamn well what's wrong. Stop asking me rhetorical questions, Victory Lane! <laughs> My crew chief's name is Victory Lane. <laughs> bad idea to stay out. I don't know if it's a bad idea. I kind of like the idea of having fresher tires at least a lap or two or three fresher than the AI. Coming out of pit lane. And trying to merge. Really, I thought this was what if. Is this the last race? It is the last race tonight that we're gonna be I do have to go to bed like very soon. Actually, once I stop streaming, I have got to go immediately to bed. Really, I thought it was what if as my crew chief. No, what if doesn't ask me stupid rhetorical questions like that. What's wrong? You know damn well what's wrong. Don't ask me that. Damn, this thing is still skipping. Even with the wedge adjustment. No, no, what if is my agent? That's right. What if is my agent? And K Cow is the spotter. That's right. K Cow is the spotter. Excuse me, coming through. See if I could pass, uh, what the hell is his name here? For 36 spot. I want to try and get a top 35 out of this. Holy crap, man. Holy crap on a stick. Dale's car chief and my Russian friend is one of the mechanics. FPS Russia. FPS Russia is my mechanic. If it doesn't work, blow it up with the AK. <laughs> 
Just shoot it with the AK. <laughs> and I don't mean to make a reference about an AK so soon. It's not at all what I mean by that. With the, you know, the Parkland shooting and all that, yeah. I think it's Shane Hall. You're right, KK. I think it is Shane Hall. I got lead lap cars and cars I'm trying to pass. I'm up to 35th now, which is happy for the sponsors. It's making the sponsors happy, but, uh, yeah. See if I could track down these guys. I was running, like, 30th. He rigged with vodka. <laughs> comes Tony Stewart, I will be a dick. And Dale Earnhardt Jr. And Ryan Newman. <laughs> Kurt Busch is behind me. And the car Veef. <laughs> and my A-Rab friend is another mechanic. <laughs> Is that the same Arab friend who's got that Vine video of that old ass Toyota truck with the exhaust and he's dancing to the ex he's dancing to the anti lag on that truck? <laughs> Anybody seen that video? I'm Dale's engine tuner. I fucked the gears up the first three races. <laughs> Irishman is my driveline specialist. He's not doing a very good job. <laughs> Everybody on my live chat's got a spot on my team. Oh, I think DHS just got him. They passed you as if it was a restricted plate racing. I know, right? I got hung out to dry. Dear God Almighty. The FBI just took the Arab mechanic away. <laughs> Need to find a mechanic. <laughs> JC is a NASCAR official. <laughs> At least I'm not 42nd. JC should be the jackman that just makes the wedge adjustments for me in the middle of the race. <laughs> Your personal stripper for after the race and you need a pretty ugly face to stand next to me after. <laughs> yeah, watch out. I think you rigged the car with a bomb. I don't need to be here and that at 190 miles an hour. <laughs> can I have a spot, Dale? Of course you can. Oh, look, somebody else blew up. Oh, Kevin Harvick blew up. That's going to be another spot when I get back around the next lap. <laughs> Some teams have two spotters though. Yes, they do. Bigger tracks like road courses and such, they got two spotters. I guess I'm the shitty backup guy. It's like Oprah Winifrey. Everybody, you get a spot on my team. You get a spot on my team. You get a spot on my team. Everybody gets a spot on my team. Brian Burke, an awful general manager, will wave the checkered flag. I'm not 42nd. We found a little something. The good news is we have a replacement. And 34th. Yay. Jeff Gordon and Jimmy Johnson both behind me. I'm trying not to hold them up. Mike Oxbig is going to let you pass. Turn a top 35 run into a 34th. Oh my god, what happened right there? Oh my god, the car just stepped out from me. Oh my god, are you fucking kidding me? It just stepped out from under me. That's it, race over.
it just stepped out from under me. There's no, like, it just was going, 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 spin. <laughs> Dennis Trusty and Mike Oxfig chokes the race all down. That's it, race over. Dale Jarrett, OP as he is, with Matt Kenseth, Terry Labonte, Jerry Mayfield, Bill, you get the top five. The drivers didn't spend much time behind that Pontiac pace car today. Well, I'd say the fans would probably have liked to see more excitement. I'm sure the drivers, on the other hand, were happy about the low number of caution flags. The 83 car never even got a scratch in this race. Yeah, you never quite know what's going to happen in these NASCAR and Winston Cup races. When you finish a race and your car still looks brand new, you've done one heck of a job as a driver. From all of us here at EA Sports and MRN, thanks for joining us today, and we'll see you next time. Oh, dear God. Where did I end up? 42nd? I... What? Wait, what? <laughs> wait. What? I finished 27th. How the fuck did I do that? <laughs> How the fuck did I finish 27th? I was... 34th. <laughs> I spun out and crossed the line 41st, and now I'm 27th. What? What? Um, okay. Apparently, I beat all these fucking knuckleheads. Um, I'll take it. Maybe I need to start spinning out at the end of all these races to get me some positions. <sighs> wow. What a way to end that shit, huh? 27th at Atlanta. Moving on. Not even gonna not even gonna complain. <laughs> there was a scoring and timing error in my favor. You know what? I'm not gonna The penalty is accepted. <laughs> I'm just gonna accept it and move on. <laughs> I'm not gonna decline it. <laughs> Maybe some guys ran out of fuel and had to pit before the end. Possibly. Possibly. Got some decent money out of that. We got $509,000 in the bank. Guess what? We're going to go back to garage engine. Let's repair. Give me enough style points to move me up to 27th. <laughs> We're going to repair this engine. It's going to be two races at $45,000. And we're going to repair chassis number three for 44000 That'll be take two races. R&D, what do we got here? Let's do a little more research here. I got $420,000. Let's do... Let's do the engine efficiency just because we can actually afford it to do for three races. So the engine efficiency and the tire wear. So we're going to have cars that maybe aren't fast but we'll have cars that can go for a while on the long run so what is this a monopoly chance card <laughs> damn it jc was spun out what the fuck did you do to the wedge oh never mind we finished good <laughs> that's right saved it to the youtube career signing off here tonight mike oxbig is 32nd and look at that well that blows i know that does blow leaving off dale jarrett Four starts, one pull, two wins, three top fives, and four top tens. He is OP as hell. JC to Irishman, GFS, trust the process. <laughs> those save files. Yes, I know, those save files. Ricky Rudd, Tony Stewart, Dale Hart Jr., Jeff Gordon, Ryan Newman, Bobby Labonte, Matt Kenseth, Bill Elliott, and Sterling Mall in the top ten. I know, career, fixed, shit kick, YouTube. <laughs> What if go back like three minutes? <laughs> I know, right? It's hilarious as shit, isn't it? I'm going to load this up for you actually real quick. Race modes, career, load. And the shit kicking career, I think I got it just on rookie difficulty. And oh, look at that. I don't even have, I've got like... I don't even have a full season. I'm just doing 12 races. What if he's always been here? He's like a ninja. Uh, stats and info. Look at that. <laughs> on my shit-kicking career. On rookie difficulty, mind you. Six starts, four pulls, six wins, and six top fives, six top tens. <laughs> it's terrible. 
That's terrible. That's an app. That's why I named it the Shit Kicker Career. That's right. Jimmy Johnson, Dale Jarrett, Kevin Harvard, Matt Kenneth, Stewart, Burton, Marlon, Bobby Labonte, and Ryan Newman in the top ten. Jeff Gordon, eleventh in points. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. Oh man. Well, ho I hope you guys enjoyed this. Sincerely and truthfully, I hope you guys enjoyed this. Hope you guys like the overlay and the comments and everything else. NASCAR Thunder 2003, we're off to a little bit of a shaky, rocky, shoddy start to Mike Oxbig's career in NASCAR Thunder 2003. <sighs> Thank you guys all so much, very much for tuning in. Thank you to the new subscribers, along with who else was it that was here? Uh, David Miller. David Miller's a new face. Please, everybody, welcome David Miller. And also, California Kid, I think he subscribed to the channel here. This was awesome. Glad to have this all back. Thank you all so much for the love. I'm sorry that we got off to a rough start last week. And then, we really got a shitty start this week. <laughs> Hopefully you guys like. Again, this is a special Friday night edition. Usually it's every Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Thursday night thunder is the, yeah, is that. Gambit, am I a new face? You are not a new furry. You are not a new face. <laughs> Hashtag hometown track on Sunday. That's right. K Cow Gaming. What's up, Gambit? Much love, sir. <laughs> Come at the wrong time, though. You always do that. I don't know why. Anyway, so ladies and gentlemen, thank you all so very much for tuning in. My name is Dale Reynolds. NASCAR Thunder 2003 has finally, finally come, and the time is now. I will see you guys next Thursday, all right? I'm going to go work on my Jeep tomorrow morning, hopefully try to get a lot of automotive stuff filmed. For you, Brandon McComb, I know you like that stuff, and anybody else that wants to learn about automotive stuff for this channel. Um... Best of luck to all your favorite drivers on Sunday, except for Cryo Bush. I mean, Kyle Bitch. I mean, Ky Cryo Bitch. I f fuck. Kyle Bush. There we go. Kyle Bush. <laughs> and Denny Dickface. Both of them. Screw them both. <laughs> Let's go, anybody but Toyota. Anyway, good luck to all your favorite drivers. Be safe. Have fun. See you guys on Sunday night for USCRL Xfinity Series Racing. Once again, I'll be streaming that. Be safe, have fun, and then the next time for NASCAR Thunder 2003 will be next Thursday, 8 p.m. Eastern. Love you all. Thank you very much for tuning in. I, oops, there we go. I am out of here, ladies and gentlemen. Be safe, have fun. I'll see you guys soon. Deuces. You motherfucker! <laughs> God damn it! <laughs> Dale Reynolds Gaming, racing excellence. <laughs>